Well, there are, there are many new developments that are coming along, uh, all the way from, let's say, using a patch to deliver vaccine and uh, to uh, various oral vaccines or preparations that can be inhaled, like the flu mist, for example. Uh, there are also new ways to produce the vaccine that, um, in various other uh, forms rather than the traditional tissue cell culture we have. And there's very good progress going, being made there. I think the most important things that we need to do would be one, to get a vaccine that protects broadly against a lot of different strains of the influenza. We make it possible to vaccinate only once in three or four or five years. Because at this time, the idea of vaccinating a whole lot of people every year is just not doable. I mean, you just cannot get people to be vaccinated, particularly adults uh, that tend to be more resistant than the kids. But you can't really get uh, a large proportion of the population vaccinated every year. So we've got to get a vaccine which can be only needs to be given at long periodic intervals. If we had adjuvants, that is, that could be added to the vaccine, you could produce more vaccine with less virus and you wouldn't have to produce so much virus and use the adjuvants. And there are adjuvants that are approved for use in Europe, but we have not gotten to the point of deciding that we would license them in this country. And that's something that is very important. So in the field of vaccines, there are all sorts of new vaccines that we can see on the horizon for tuberculosis. We can see it for malaria. Uh, we hope someday we'll see one for AIDS, but it's that's a little more difficult. Uh, and there are a lot of vaccines. Right now, a child uh, in the U.S. will it's recommended 15 different in, uh, inoculations of vaccine are recommended. And uh, this, you'd like to have that cut down and combine the vaccines, and that's not so easily done. But we are now protecting as many more diseases than we ever did before. And uh, I think we're going to be able to protect against many others, including some forms of cancer, which we're already doing with hepatoma, uh, the hepatic cancer, the uh, uh, cervical cancer, there's a vaccine in there. And there'll be more.